The Yardley option in Bank Data offers users a way to access their credit card accounts and other accounts with financial institutions who do not offer a direct feed. Some financial institutions require you to enter additional security details, like a code sent to your mobile phone or token to access their website. Bank data can handle these requests, but it doesn't mean you will have an extra step to make when accessing your latest transactions. Yodley cannot update your bank data record until you enter a current security code. Go to the Bank Connection screen and click on Connect an Account to open the Bank Feed Management screen. The status on your Yodley connection will show as Authentication Required. Click on it and enter your bank internet login credentials. Make sure you answer yes to do you use an authentication key to log in to online banking? Now wait a short while as Yodley tests your credentials. When you see the message, your financial institution requires you to enter your MFA to continue, enter the security code sent to your mobile phone or token and click next. Wait a short while and you'll get Yodley's confirmation that the connection has been established and transactions are being gathered. For the first time users of Yodley connection, Yodley will provide all the transactions your financial institution makes available online. This is usually three months of transactions, but can vary between financial institutions. On subsequent uses, Yodley will check the last update of your bank data record and obtain transactions since that date. Once your bank data record has been updated, you can now go to your book and download these transactions. On the first time use of a Yodley connection, or where you have not updated for a period longer than your usual cycle of updates, you should modify the number of days back your book retrieves transactions. Go to Administration, Settings, General, Business Settings, and scroll down to Bank Data, Retrieve Last field. By default, the setting is 60 days. For first time use, this may mean downloading transactions that have already been reconciled and not needed and will use up your download allowance for the month. Set the number to what you need. You can change it later up to what will be your normal update cycle. To view your downloaded transactions, go to Banking, Bank Accounts, and on your bank ledger account, click on the Actions button and select New Transactions. Ensure the highlight in the Upload section is on the bank feed. The table on the New tab will show your transactions which you can now allocate to your ledger accounts. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.